Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack, back again to talk about some of my favorite healer trinkets of all time. Now, I've played the game nonstop since Cataclysm, like Firelands, right? And I really started hitting my stride with healing in Mr. Pandaria. And so I wanted to highlight some of my favorite trinkets of all time, my top seven, and then have a couple honorable mentions at the end, starting it off with number one, Demonic Phylactery. So this was also part of a time where spirit, uh, mana regen, was a secondary stat for healers. So this demonic phylactery, a draw from one of the middle bosses of the raid, almost sort of like a Rashox trinket, offered a flat discount to your spells. So different healers that had really rapid spell casting, like Druid or Mistweaver back in the day, were heavily rewarded for this because it was just a flat mana cost reduction to all of your spells. It was also sort of like an enabler for a lot of like different builds or a lot of more like creative play styles. And this is something that came at the end of the Warlords of Draenor expansion. This is from Hellfire Citadel. And I personally, I don't know if everybody else feels this way. I personally really enjoyed Spirit as a sort of modifier because this is also back in the day where they had reforging. So if you had plenty of Spirit, you had plenty of mana regen, you could just reforge out of it. And that was another really big benefit of having a trinket like this, is that you could choose to adjust and fine-tune your stats towards more crit or mastery or whatever other secondary stat that was directly related to maximizing your output. And so having a trinket that also allows you to shift some of your other gear priorities is fantastic. And I, I wish we had that sort of level of control. And maybe I'm in the minority on that one, but I wish I had that sort of like level of control uh, over my mana regen playing a big variety of healers. Number two is the unstable Fell Shadow Emulsion from the same expansion and from the same raid. Uh, Warlords of Draenor had some banger trinkets and this is absolutely one of them. So this one, I know the stats have changed of course since, but I believe it had multi-strike on it back in the day, which was kind of similar to like crit. If you think about it, it just like caused your abilities to, like trigger an extra time but for a reduced effect. Uh, it had that back in the day, and your heals grant the target leech for 10 seconds equal to a percentage of the effective healing done. So they've gotten rid of this because of the fact that, you know, you could still, <laughs> you wouldn't want to go back and farm this just to give your allies leech. But it was insanely powerful, especially for specs like Holy Priest back in the day or even Druid, who are constantly sort of piling healing onto all of your allies sort of all at once. And so this resulted in really high HPS for a few of those specs that could do that, allowing DPS to be able to sort of heal themselves and your allies to sort of help themselves. If I remember correctly, this is the first time that we had a trinket giving tertiary stats. And I think Wad it was the expansion where tertiaries were actually brought about to begin with. And so I really love this trinket and the fact that it was also providing a benefit to everybody else that wasn't directly sort of attributed to you. Uh, that was another one of those like sort of sacrifice or augmentation type things that you see with like power infusion where it's not directly attributed to the priest, but it's still immensely valuable to make sure you're timing it correctly with whichever damage dealer wants it at the specific moment in time. This trinket, also very similar. And I like that there was that value that you were bringing to the entire raid and it was a very noticeable value in like high output in particular we had the last couple bosses of the raid both manoroth zulharak and archimond the final boss really have high hps checks at specific moments and you could sort of feel everybody being a lot safer when they all had leech provided so i wish we had some more trinkets like this in present day one of my favorite things about Healer Trinkets is the fact that there was an option. Now, the Archive of Faith, this is a Legion Trinket, I want to say from like Tumas Argaris, if I remember correctly. This trinket, yep, was from Fallen Avatar. And this was not the highest HPS trinket for rating at all. Uh, in fact, it was an extraordinarily niche trinket. But it's one of my favorites because it was a great option that even though it was in Tomb, it was the second to last raid of the expansion. It also was really relevant in Antorus for very specific like niche moments, basically. So it's a crit trinket that when you channel is cleansing matrix into an ally, you heal them for a whole bunch over three seconds. And if you fully complete the channel, you grant them a shield. How this kind of worked is it healed for like 140 or 150 percent of an average player's health. It healed for a lot. <laughs> and the shield would be another like 20 or 30 percent of that target's life if you completed the channel this was insanely helpful playing a priest healer in legion m plus doing really high m high keys because there were certain boss fights one of them was 
uh, I believe it was Xavius at the end of Darkheart Thicket. He did this sort of like drain channel onto your allies, and if you just didn't have a ton of output ready to go, that player could just die. Or if they didn't have a personal, they could just die. And so what I really liked about this trinket was that it took specific timing, it was a one minute cooldown, and it provided just a heap of output. It's not the best iteration of having like a safety net trinket. We'll talk about some of those in a second. But I did like that it was an option that was relevant from the tier that it dropped in, but also so powerful that it was relevant in the tier that followed. And I think that's what makes really good healer trinkets is that they don't have to be the best thing all the time, like a Rishox, but being able to have it as a long-term option uh, later on is always really nice. For number four, this should be no surprise, the Tuft of Smoldering Plumage was probably the best healer trinket of the expansion when it came to, comes to Shadowlands. Uh, this dropped off of Kael'thas, Sunstrider. This is the Sun King Salvation fight. You infuse your ally with the Tuft of Phoenix Flames, and you'll heal them after six seconds, but if the target takes lethal damage, then that heal triggers instantly, minus whatever damage they would have taken that was lethal. So let's say that you're going to be healed for, I don't know, 100% of your life. But if you're at 1% health, you take 26% of your health and damage, the Tuft would proc, and then you'd be healed for 75% of your life. So it's this like six second cheat death effect that is then able to trigger for a heal later on. Love this trinket. I love the sort of security that you're able to provide to your tank, as this is an area where tanks were getting obliterated at the start of the expansion for Shadowlands. And so it was a very timely place trinket and just insanely effective for helping keep your allies alive, whether they were obviously the tank who was just dying to like melee strikes at the start of Battle for, or uh, start of Shadowlands, or whether it was the end of Shadowlands where you're trying to do crazy high keys and there's just one shot effects all over the place. Uh, we did TGP and we, we had these moments where everybody had Tuft on because we did like a 30 something when we were competing with my team just so that we'd be able to survive some of the explosions from like the Mechagon slimes or something weird like that. Super fun trinket to utilize, huge fan of it, and I hope that they take this sort of idea where the timing is important, but there's a safety net you can provide, and it's going to be relevant throughout the expansion. Number five is, of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel, where we have all kinds of crazy awesome content, and also checking out the Patreon. It's also the Deceiver's Grand Design! Ah, oh, we got you there! This, another Legion trinket, no surprise, is a fantastic one. I believe it's also dropped off Kill Jaden. Yeah. And what it is, is basically like a beacon effect. So you have two charges, and you're able to put this two minute long buff effect onto one of your allies. And again, you can have it on two, where it's going to constantly be healing them at, for a small amount every three seconds for two minutes. But if they drop below 35%, the guiding hand procs, puts out a shield, and it further protects them. It sort of consumes that healing effect and replaces it with a shield instead. This probably would not work very well in today's world where health bars kind of go just yo-yo like crazy but it worked extremely well back in legion because it was just this trickle healing effect that would also give you a bit of extra security and extra safety and then you know if there was a real emergency it was enough shielding to sort of like catch your tank but tanks are very strong back then healers relatively speaking to today were not that strong and so you couldn't push health pools up very frequently and so this did a great job of like sustaining your tank as they were taking pretty consistent levels of damage throughout raids and M+. And of course, it was a safety net that you would be able to have, see the trend that we have going on, to be able to save your tank from death. I really love this trinket. I really wish they would bring some more of these back because there are times where you would just need a stat stick and you'd prefer a stat stick to just crank output and crank raid healing or deal with like a a really challenging HPS check, like third boss of Halls of Infusion, which has all kinds of crazy rot damage. But then there's other times where you would lose out on damage or lose out on healing output for the sort of utility effects. And I really love those with trinkets. And I'm, that's probably one of the biggest things I like about healer trinkets over the ages is when you have an option to flex into something, but it's not the objective best thing all the time. Next up, this one should look very familiar. It's Broodkeeper's Promise. Coming out of the Vault of the Incarnates raid, being able to mark one ally to further like bond to them uh, and be able to also grant them versatility, I freaking love. Not only is it great for just tank healing, tank support, especially at the beginning of the expansion when everyone's really new to the uh, the systems that are added into the game, due to the dungeons, raids, whatever. But it also allowed you to be able to identify the most vulnerable players in your raid 
and then be able to put the Broodkeeper upon them to grant a little bit of extra defensive value. And I think there's a lot of times where, yeah, if you have like a Tuft or a Deceivers or something, you can have certain ways to be able to like proc a shield or proc another effect, but also granting versatility for the damage reduction benefits feels really nice to be able to provide to an ally, even if it's like 1% or something. Every little bit adds up because WoW is in a lot of cases like a game of inches. So Broodkeeper's Promise, Big fan. It's not the flashiest of trinkets like we saw from some of the other early ones. But again, being able to have that like strength to it of marking a player, identifying who you want to protect, uh, feels very satisfying as a healer because then it's also something that you're able to kind of keep in mind of like, I need to stay close to this player because we're going to benefit each other in the process. And for my top seven on the list, Moat of Sanctification is going to round it out. And afterwards, we're going to have a couple honorable mentions. But I love Moats of Sanctification and a similar reason for why I really like Archive of Faith. It's that it's an option and it allows you to focus your healing in very specific ways. I don't want to just permanently run Moda Sanctification for the entirety of a tier. I want to be able to have this minute and a half cooldown to burst healing onto myself and four other allies for when I really need it at a specific moment in time to like flex into it. One of the best things I enjoyed about Legion M Plus was the ability to swap around gear sets and trinkets in the middle of the dungeon to optimize my runs. I understand why we can't do that anymore, but I particularly liked it because of trinkets like Moat because you could flex into those trinkets when you needed it. Now, in today's world, you would just commit to running moat for a dungeon. And in this world where there's just tons of damage going out all the time, no matter what, it's understandable to go after more healing or shielding, absorbing trinkets to make sure you're just keeping your allies alive. And so while I don't always want to have trinkets that are doing tons of healing for me, and sometimes I just want to run stat sticks, I always really appreciate having powerful options because sometimes we just have like absorb or heal trinkets that are that look good but are just tuned terribly but moat was really well tuned for season one of dragonflight that you could flex into that option to help you heal through difficult boss encounters when you needed it and then you could just go take a stat sticker or something else when you didn't now let's cap off our honorable mentions onto these ones that weren't quite in the top seven Mirror of Entwined Fate. This was a trinket that dropped from Battle for Dazara lore, middle of BFA. And it restores healing to your target, but inflicts a curse upon yourself, absorbing the next healing that you receive. This I particularly like just as a general concept. One, because the downside's not that bad, because healers are usually the ones in most control of their own health pools. There's so much leech that you're able to be able to get as a healer these days, more than ever before. And so there's a lot of times you can kind of just like ignore it and then just be able to heal yourself naturally with leech. Having that life-saving benefit, the mirror was not the best trinket for healers back in Battle for Dazara lore. But again, it was that sort of option that you could sort of flex into when you needed it. For a couple other healer mana options, uh, the Forbidden Obsidian Claw, and there's also the sister to this, the Carafe, I believe it's what it's called, the Carafe of Searing Light that came from Antorus. Yeah, so it would just both of them would be low cooldowns. One was two minute, one was one minute. Flicks damage, restores mana to you. These are always just really cool. Even though there wasn't spirit back in BFA, it was still nice to be able to have that option of like, I need more mana. Here's how I'm going to solve my mana problems, and here's how I can adjust my gameplay around it. Back when there was Spirit, we had Horadon's Last Gasp. This is like a Throne of Thunder trinket, and it's it's super simple. It's like your healing has a chance to grant you mana. But I can't stress enough how cool it was being able to reforge your gear and change your gear once you got a trinket that enabled you to have more mana. These stats on your gear that gave you resources then are moving towards stats on your gear that's giving you just power. And it's a very fun option to sort of like switch around and adjust your secondary stats according to your level of comfortability and according to, you know, some of your own gameplay as well, because the game was not nearly as figured it out as it is today. And so being able to have trinkets that offered flexibility, always going to be fantastic. Another thing I like is trinkets that allow you to choose when you want to use them. And these are our last three. Deferred Sentence was from Eternal Palace, uh, as that was also a BFA trinket. And whenever you're standing still, you are deferring healing every three seconds and moving is then releasing that deferred healing. So you would sort of just like naturally store healing. And then when you moved, you'd be able to put out that output. Uh, this was again, not the best trinket. In fact, I don't even think it was a good trinket back in the day, 
but I really enjoyed the delivery sequence of this for when, hey, as a priest healer, you know, as I usually main, when I have to move, when I have to do something, I'm then able to proc healing to help my allies out. Always really enjoyed that sort of concept to it, and I hope that they experiment around with these some more, because there's always going to be stat sticks that are shared between DPS, tanks, and healers, but I wish that they would focus a bit more on having these sort of like niche trinkets that you could find good uses for every once in a while. War to Face this Ire from our current raid in Aberus, also a great option. It's a two minute cooldown, puts out a massive absorb onto a player, and I think this is by far your best in slot trinket when it comes to mythic plus running, because having a two minute absorb onto allies, freaking sick. This also takes inspiration, and again, this is not a bad thing. I really love it when they bring back old trinkets and they change them a little bit. But the Ishkar's Fell Shield Emitter, this drop from the Antoran High Command, actually, uh, and there was a one minute cooldown, which again, places the Fell Shield onto an ally, absorbs damage, and then when the shield is consumed, it explodes, dealing damage. The Fell Shield deals quite a bit more damage than the Ward, but the, uh, the Fell Shield, actually the Fell Shield was just straight up better. Uh, it, it absorbed a similar amount of damage, and it dealt more damage, and it had a lower cooldown. So, uh, I kind of miss this. But this trinket was absolutely heavily required for all healers at the end of Legion M+. Because it's actually kind of similar to the world that we're in today with M+, where it was just about living. You just need to like survive boss fights. Uh, it's even notable that some of the early days of MDI and Legion... Uh, tanks were even running this fell shield emitter just to keep themselves or more often their allies from just bleeding out and dying to some of the heavy heavy damage that was going out onto these encounters so huge love for having shield trinkets but i don't always want to be able to have these i don't want to always have an expansion where i'm looking for the next absorb trinket or the next perfect like tuft of smoldering plumage having a bit of variety and a bit of like opportunity cost when you use the trinkets is always going to be like a plus one in my book and again, the more variety possible, I think Abaris did a pretty good job of being able to bring that to us. I think Vault was a little weak when it came to the healer trinkets, but being able to have flexibility for where you want to distribute your output is always going to be a good thing. Uh, Rashok's Molten Heart, of course, is an insane trinket, which just procs healing, mana, and versatility if you overheal. But that's a little bit like too universal and too like insane, in my opinion for some of the world that I would like where you flex between mana regen or healing or utility or just raw output. I think there's a lot of potential in general for what the healer trinkets can bring to the table. And I hope that we're gonna see some really banger ones before 10.2. So let me know which trinkets were your favorite over the years and huge thank you to our patrons who make all the content possible. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll catch you all next time.